ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهد الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان سيدنا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما اغلق والخاتم لما سبق ناصر الحق بالحق والهادي الى صراطك المستقيم وعلى اله حق قدره ومقدار عظيم قال الله تعالى في كتاب العزيز بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا ان هدانا الله الحمد لله بل اكثرهم لا يعلمون قل الحمد لله بل اكثرهم لا يعقلون انما يؤمنون باياتنا الذين اذا ذكروا بها خروا سجدا وسبحوا بحمد ربهم وهم لا يستكبرون فاصبر ان وعد الله حق واستغفر لذنبك وسبح بحمد ربك بالعشي والابكار هو الحي لا اله الا هو فادعوه مخلصين له الدين الحمد لله رب العالمين قل الحمد لله وسلام على عباده على عباده الذين اصطفى الله خير مما يشفكون فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفره انه كان توابا وقل الحمد لله الذي لم يتخذ ولدا ولم يكن له شريك في الملك ولم يكن له ولي من من الذل وكبره تكبيرا وقل الحمد لله سيريكم اياته فتعرفونها وما ربك بغافل عما تعملون سبح بحمد ربك وكن من الساجدين وهو الله لا اله الا هو له الحمد في الاولى والاخره وله الحكم وله الحكم واليه ترجعون ولقد اتينا لكمان الحكمه ان اشكر لله ومن يشكر فانما يشكر لنفسه ومن كفر فان الله غني حميد دعواهم فيها سبحانك اللهم وتحيتهم فيها سلام واخر دعواهم ان الحمد لله رب العالمين الله عز وجل has mentioned the letters ha mim dal many many times in Quran ha mim dal these letters are found uh, in different forms we know that the one that's uh, closer to us in our everyday activity is the fact that we say the word muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the root letter of muhammad the root letters in muhammad is ha mim dal ahmad is also there alhamdulillah mahmud is there all these uh, letters and these formations of these letters are in our life on a daily basis but actually and in fact those letters and that reality behind those letters is the very reality by which you and I face the world every day we know that we have this thing called deen we have this thing called religion this thing called deen about which Allah himself says alhamdulillah alladhi hadana li hadha Alhamdulillah alladhi hadana li hadha All praise is due to the one who has guided us to this Alhamdulillah alladhi hadana li hadha wa ma kunna linahtadiya lawla an hadana Allah And we would never have been guided had it not been that God himself guided us Lawla an lawla an hadana Allah Had it not been that God himself would have reached into our lives Wow, we're in this world or decided for us before this world that we would have iman that we would come to la ilaha illallah and what we must understand is that what we've been guided to is this thing called deen alhamdulillah ladhi hadana li hadha he has guided us to this thing called deen a deen who is tawhid and deen is tawhid deen this transaction between us and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this relationship between us the abd and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that relationship that transaction is called deen and it itself is based in tawheed it is based in la ilaha illallah a deen who a tawheed and a tawheed is alhamdulillah when you and i say alhamdulillah you and i are realizing tawheed when you and i say all praise is due to god the creator of the worlds we are realizing we are being tawheed itself Because if you say alhamdu by itself what does it mean praise alhamdu but when you say lillah when you say it's for god when you say lillah ta'ala that hamd is manifested into the world 
that hum is designated, that hum is returned back to its Lord, and that hum is known, and that reality that Allah has, that praiseworthy essence that Allah Ta'ala is, is manifest into the world when we say Lillah for God. But in the phrase Lillah itself, when we look at Lillah itself, we're saying what? Lillah means only for God. So you and I are the opposite end of that. Alhamdu is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Lillah is for you and I. Alhamdu, Lillah, my actions are for, are for Allah. My thoughts are for Allah. My actions, my motivations are for Allah. My movement is for Allah. My rituals are for Allah. Rabbil Alameen, the Lord of all the worlds, Ta'ala. When I move, when I think, when I act, when I don't act, everything I'm doing is because of the presence of that mighty God in my heart, who I know, Alhamdu, <laughs> praise, Lillah, and my actions are going to show you that. Lillah, Lillah, Lillah. I give, I do, I, I spend, Lillah. I stop disobeying, Lillah. I come close, Lillah. I have brothers, Lillah. I have sisters, Lillah. I have, uh, I have relationships, Lillah. I don't have relationships, Lillah. I'm not angry with my wife, Lillah. She's not angry with me, Lillah. Because if it was about me, she'd be angry with me until the day of judgment. So Alhamdulillah is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Lillah is for us. And in that, Tawheed is manifested. A deen, who is Tawheed? A deen. Deen is Islam. Deen is Iman. And deen is Ihsan. And this we know when Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salatu salam, he came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and asked him and taught him what is religion. Ya Muhammadu, akhbirni an al-Islam. O Muhammad, tell me what Islam is in the rest of the hadith as we know it. And that transaction, that, uh, that reality that was being taught is the, is the manifestation of alhamdu. Alhamdu. Lillah. In the first stage of Islam, which is the stage of the body, Al-Islam lil badan, Al-Islam lil jism. Islam is for the body. It's for the physical aspects of our person, of our person, of our being. In Islam, we say Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashhadu anna Muhammadur Rasulullah, wa nuqimu salata, wa nutiya zakat ila akhirihi. We say there's no god but God, and we pay the poor rate, and we 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 uh, we pray to Allah Azza wa Jal, and we fast for him, we pray the poor rate. Every single aspect of Islam, the first dimension of deen, the first dimension of Alhamdulillah is from the body. I bear witness with my body. I fast with my body. I pay zakat with my body. I pray salah with my body. You ever meet someone who says, yeah, Alhamdulillah brother, I pray in my, I pray in my heart. Right? You ask them, mashallah, do you pay zakat there too? No wonder we're in such trouble. Islam is the body, what you do and what you don't do. But who, what do you, you do? Lillah. And you do not do? Lillah. You do because Allah said, it, he, he commanded us to do it. Hada lillah, that's for God. And we refrain, lillah. And the most beautiful part about it is that you and I have not seen Allah. But we're doing everything for Him. These people out here, they're trying to give us all these billboards, advertisements to get us to buy this, do that, you know, buy into this ploy, make me rich off of this and off of that. They have to do everything they can to make sure that they have a presence in our lives. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all He did was send His Messenger alayhi salatu salam, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Look at the power in that advertisement. One man, one mission. 23 years, 1400 plus years ago, and you and I are hearing about him every single day. People coming into this masjid and taking shahada. Only reason why is because he, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is a reminder of what we already know. Alhamdulillah. The heart knows it. The heart feels it. First time I ever read the Quran, I remember I opened it up and it said, All praise is due to God, Lord of the worlds. I thought to myself, okay, anything after this point, I'm totally, I got it. <laughs> Because I never, I thought to myself, Rabbil Alameen, Lord of the worlds? How many worlds are there? A man can't write this. A man doesn't think like that. A man wants to be Lord of the block. <laughs> he wants to be Lord of the company, Lord of the house. But he's not thinking about Lord of the worlds. He knows his limitations. 
in Islam, Allah Azza wa Jal, we hear Allah calling us to Islam, Alhamdulillahi, bal akhtarahum la ya'lamun. All praises due to God, but most of them do not know. The first stage of Islam the, is the information, being told something. We hear it. This is called ilm al yaqeen. We hear about it and we believe it to be true. Why? Because he said, Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Alhamdulillahi, bal akhtarahum la ya'lamun. Alhamdulillah, bal akhtarahum la ya'lamun. Look at the world right now. Most people don't know where praise belongs. And most people don't know who to work for and who not to work for and who, and who to abstain things from, uh, for. Most people do not know. Qul alhamdulillahi bal akhtarahum la yaqinun. Say alhamdulillah, but most of them, they do not think. If they were to think and stop and to reason, they would realize that there's nothing worth my actions for. I lose everything. Your loved one's gone. Your house is gone. Your children are gone. Your property is gone. You are gone. What kind of an idiot would, what kind of an idiot would sacrifice everything that they have? للخلق, for the creation. وَكُلُّ مَنْ عَلَيْهَا ثَانِ And everything upon its face has already died. Inshallah, move forward brothers. Move forward. Barakallahu feekum. Yeah, not so far forward because you need to be a little bit, yeah. let me just back up. Okay, that's good. Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned, إِنَّمَا يُؤْمِنُونَ, إنما يؤمنون بِآيَاتِنَا الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرُوا بِهَا خَرُّوا سُجَّدًا وَسَبِّحُوا بِحَمْدِ رَبِّهِمْ وَهُمْ لَا يَسْتَكْبِرُونَ In the state of Islam, at the level of the, of the knowledge of certainty, of the submission of the limbs, it is manifested. A person knows, Alhamdulillah, at this place, because when his signs are read, and when he hears the command, the slave prostrates, the slave submits, just hearing the commandment causes them to submit, to give himself, to push himself, to go a little bit forward and not to be one of those people who when they hear the verses and they hear the signs and, they, and you and I have signs in our life that happen every single day that cause us to have to reconsider our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Physical things that happen to us and when those things happen to these believers, when they see the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, instead of turning their backs to him, being, you know, uh, having istikbara, being proud, no, 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 no. They realize this is from God. I know this. And so their body is acting according to what they know. Allah Azza wa Jal said in another command, Fasbir inna wa'adullahi haq wa staghfir li dhambik wa sabbih bihamdi rabbika bil ashiyyi wal ibakar. In that level of physical worship and physical commitment, one has to have patience. Patience starts there. Fasbir. Yeah, you used to be an alcoholic. Alhamdulillah. And every now and again you might, you know, sway, keep, no, fasbir, be patient. In other words, what that means is continue. No, no, you're on the right track. Keep doing what you're doing. Fasbir, inna wa'adu Allahi haq. Verily God's promise is true. The person hears that, he knows with certainty. Allah mentions, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدَيَنَّهُمْ سُبْلَانَا وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَمَعَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Those who strive in our way. وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا And those who strive in our way. لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُلَانَ God swears. He promises. لَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُلَانَ That lamb is for promising. لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُلَانَ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَمَعَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ And verily God is with those who are sincere. I believe in that promise. I don't believe in the promise that's happening outside. I don't believe the promise of my own nafs. I don't believe the promise of my own ego. I believe the promise of Allah Ta'ala, the creator of the nafs, the creator of outside. That's what I believe in. وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذَنْبِكَ وَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ بِالْأَشِيِّ وَالْبَقَارِ And as we've noticed, we said, Alhamdulillah, that it means Tawheed. Look, وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذَنْبِكَ Ask Allah to forgive you for your sin. What's the first sin in this situation? The first sin in our situation is taking our attention off of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. The only reason why that alcohol looks good is because you forgot about Allah for a moment. Allah is much better. And if you could drink that, it, you would never... <laughs> if you could drink Tawheed, you'd be drunk until the Day of Judgment. And past the Day of Judgment. The day, day of Judgment would come and you would be in the bar. Drunk on Tawheed. May Allah make us drunkards. Astaghfir li dhanbik wa sabbih bihamdi rabbika. بالعشي والإبكار هو الحي لا إله إلا هو فدعوه مخلصين له الدين الحمد لله رب العالمين 
قل الحمد لله وسلام على عباده على عباده الذين اصطفى الله خير مما يشفكون وسبح بحمد ربك واستغفره إنه كان توابا وقل الحمد لله الذي لم يتخذ ولدا ولم يكن له شريك يشكر لنفسي ومن كفر فإن الله غني حميد دعواهم فيها سبحانك اللهم وتحي وتحيتهم فيها سلام وآخر دعواهم أن الحمد لله رب العالمين الله عز وجل has mentioned the letters Ha, Mim, Dal many many times in Quran Ha, Mim, Dal these letters are found uh, in different forms we know that the one that's uh, closer to us in our Alhamdulillah, Nahmaduhu wa nasta'inu wa nasta'afiruh wa nu'inu bihi wa natawakkalu alayhi wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina min yahdillahu falamudillalah wa min yuddin falahadiya lah wa nashadu an la ilaha illa allahu wahtahu la sharika lah wa nashadu anna sayyidina wa mulana muhammad abduhu wa rasooluh Allahumma salli ala sayyidina muhammadin al-fatiha lima uglika wa al-khatim lima sabak nasir al-haq bil-haq wal-hadi ila siratika al-mustaqim وعلى آله حق قدره ومثله في الملك ولم يكن له ولي من من الذل وكبره تكبيرا وكل الحمد لله سيريكم آياته فتعرفونها وما ربك بغافل عما تعملون سبح بحمد ربك وكن من الساجدين وهو الله لا إله إلا هو له الحمد في الأولى والآخرة وله الحكم وله الحكم وإليه ترجعون ولقد آتينا لكمان الحكمة أن يشكر لله ومن يشكر فإنما العظيم قال الله تعالى في كتاب العزيز بعد عوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنحتدي لولا أن هدانا الله الحمد لله بل أكثرهم لا يعلمون قل الحمد لله بل أكثرهم لا يعقلون إنما يؤمنون بآياتنا الذين إذا ذكروا بها خروا سجدا وسبحوا بحمد ربهم وهم لا يستكبرون فاصبر إن وعد الله حق 